Hi there, I'm Andy Jones and welcome to Get Modern. Today we're going to cover Configure MDM Authority and Automatic Enrollment. So, as part of our uh, Intune Handbook series, today we're going to cover Step 5. I'm going to split these into two videos just to keep them quick uh, and easy to watch. Uh, but So please uh, step into the next uh, video straight after this one if you've got the time. So MDM authority, well, um, what is this? So the MDM authority, uh, as, as per the Microsoft website, is um, determines how you manage your devices. And um, you must set this MDM authority before users can enroll devices for management. That's why it's not set as optional uh, on my list, on my set of 10, my 10 steps. Um, and obviously there are a number of configurations uh, that you can deploy under. You've got Intune Standalone, Intune Co-Management, Basic Mobility and Security for Microsoft 365, and Mobility and Security for Microsoft 365 Coexistence. Now, typically most people will probably be looking to set this up for Intune Standalone and possibly Co-Management. I won't be covering uh, Intune Co-Management as we've got a dedicated video to this, so please check it out. Let's have a quick look at how you can verify your current MDM authority as it's set up. So we're going to go into the um, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We can look at Tenant Administration. We're going to, uh, and then on that page you will see Tenant Details. So under MDM Authority here, you can see mine is set up as Microsoft Intune. Now, if you were um, currently deployed under basic mobility and security, that setting will be set as Office 365. And it's only when you switch over to coexistence that you'll see, uh, see that change with some of your devices. So let's have a look how we set this up. If we look down the documentation here, as it says, for tenants using the 1911 service release and later, the MDM authority is automatically set to Intune. So this is a good step forward really because previously for pre-1911 service release tenants, um, when you first go into your uh, Intune um, tenant you will and select the devices, you'll be prompted to choose your MDM authority. There's an orange banner that appears uh, over the the top of the, the, the window pane, and you have to choose uh, whether you want Intune MDM Authority or Configuration Management uh, Authority or nothing at all. Um, this has now uh, been superseded, um, but in that scenario, you're making a decision about where your devices, how your devices are being managed. Now with the introduction of the MEM, uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, you've got a combination of Intune and your S uh, or uh, SCCM platform for, for co-management. And you set your co-management settings within uh, SCCM themselves. So that's a, great, that's a great step forward. But as I mentioned, you've also got a situation whereby you may already have um, a, license, a license plan for your users under basic mobility and security for, for Microsoft 365 just give you a quick look at the plans for that. So depending on the license options you've chosen, if you were uh, to choose the Microsoft 365 apps or Office, just the Office 365 E3, E1, E3 or E5, um, as you can see here, you haven't got Microsoft Intune um, included. You've only got the basic mobility and security. And they, under this licensing, you can um, manage your devices. Um, you can manage your devices, however, you've got a subset of policies and uh, settings that you can deploy. Um, for example, you can't manage uh, Mac OS uh, and iPad OS under these, under these licenses. And you've got a subset of uh, compliance, uh, uh, compliance policies that you can deploy to these devices. So ultimately, especially when you want to expand your mobile devices into your uh, laptop and your desktop devices, you want to move to Intune and you'll have to upgrade your uh, your licensing in order to do that. Um, so when you, uh, under this 
plan here where if you've already deployed some of your policies there are some considerations you'll need to look at um, let's just quickly look at um, the window that you'll get so if under that circumstance you've already deployed um, under those those licenses and you are managing your devices that way when you go into your um, uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and go into devices you'll be presented with uh, an ad MDM authority and it will ask whether you want to effectively switch to the MDM Intune MDM authority what this will allow you to do is effectively deploy co uh, coexistence between those environments now there are a number of considerations you'll need to look at if you've already got policies under those uh, under your management scheme uh, and you're switching into Intune um, what you need to do is make sure that you have the policies replicated within Intune because once you start adding the devices to coexistence um, the uh, previous policies that are already deployed will no longer exist and you'll need to switch MDM authority on those devices okay um, the way in which you would do that once you switch this on is effectively assign licenses to those Intune licenses to those devices so it may be that you've already got a license but you haven't switched Intune on once you do that like I say all policy and management of those devices will occur through the MDM or Intune MDM authority um, so that's quite an important point there thanks for watching today We've covered step five in the Intune handbook series, and next up we're gonna cover automatic enrollment. Information related to Microsoft documentation and links to our co-management video you can see down below. And obviously if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Thanks very much.